Hey, 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 guys. What's going on? This is the Caramel Rail Show. I am Caramel Rail. Um, we have a story to go over today, guys. Um, it kind of pulled in my heartstrings a bit. Um, yeah, I kind of went back and forth with myself as to if I wanted to cover this story or not. Because it was just, it was a lot. It was a lot. Um, as you guys know with me, with all of my, my videos that I do, I like to do a lot of funny commentary to have some haha -ha moments or whatever to kind of draw the audience in. But with this story, I kind of want to be a little bit on a serious note because it kind of is a little, it, well, I ain't going to say little. It is, it's sad. It's very sad. It's very heart-wrenching. It, it really pulled at the heartstrings of so many people across the, the world that saw this story um, play out on CNN and TMZ and everywhere else that reported it. Um, I read up on it and I said I wanted to cover it. Um, if you've been watching the news, you already know that there was a school shooting in Texas, okay, um, at an elementary school where 19 kids were shot and killed and two teachers were also taken out as well. Um, the, the actual elementary school was called Rob Elementary School, and that was in Texas, guys. Um, the person, the gunman, was, of course, an 18-year-old boy um, who had just turned 18 years old and went out and purchased um, some assault rifles. Um, and he decided that he was going to commit a very uh, crazy crime against people, innocent people. Um, and, of course, it was premeditated because he reached out to a random person on social media and sent out messages uh, talking about this particular crime that he was getting ready to commit. <sighs> Guys, I don't know about you. If you're a parent and you have kids that go to school, this, is, this, this particular story really touched me because I'm a parent. And I have a child who is in school. And you just never know when you take your kids to school what in the world could happen from the time you drop them off to the time you pick them up. People are so crazy in the world nowadays that you just never know. So you have to say a prayer over your kids as well as yourself going out into the world because danger is lurking everywhere, okay? I don't think any of the parents that took their, their kids to school that day even imagined this type of thing happening, that their kids were not going to come back home to them. Um, so for a person to stoop that low, to, to take out 19 innocent kids who won't even get to live out to be who they were destined to be, and, and two teachers who were there just doing their job that day, it, it, it really speaks volumes. And, it, and I feel like there needs to be tougher laws in terms of being able to get a gun. Like there needs to be, I feel like there needs to be an there needs to be a mental evaluation done prior to you being able to retrieve a gun because there's it's starting to be more and more gun violence, guys, unnecessary, and there's starting to be more school shootings and just shootings. Period. Like it's it's too much. The purpose of a gun is to being able to protect yourself. OK, or if you want to go out to gun range and just, you know, shoot or whatever. Yeah. Uh, or if you use it for sport, going hunting. But you should never be out hunting people and taking out innocent people and ending lives of people who just went out to, to live out their day. OK, we're going to get back to this particular story. Um, the 18 year old messaged a random girl on social media. The girl says she don't know who he is. She's she's never seen or heard from this guy. Um, but he messaged her and tagged her in a photo of the actual assault rifles that he used at the school. Okay. In the message, he says to her, um, he says he's about to do something. And the girl says, what? And he says that he will tell her before 11 a.m., um, and if you kept up with this story, 11 a.m. is when the actual shooting began. OK, um, he also said to her and I want to read this verbatim so you guys can kind of kind of follow where I'm going. 
um, he also said with her that she should be grateful that he tagged her um, and then said he got to go because he has to air out, meaning he's getting ready to go do what he set out to do. Um, it, it don't get no more crazy than that. This was premeditated. This is something he sat back and thought of. You went back, you went and purchased these assault rifles with the intent to go out and hurt someone and end someone's life for your own satisfaction. And to me, I think that's very sick. Um, the, obviously, there was something mental going on with him. I don't know if his parents tried to get him help. Um, I don't know. But at the end of the day, he should have had some type of psychiatric evaluation done long ago his parents should have should have done something because as a parent you know when your child is acting out when they have certain behaviors that are not normal as a normal child i mean you just know you know when there's something not right with your child if they're acting distant all of a sudden if they're you know hanging with the wrong crowd if they're using drugs like whatever the case may be this 18 year old obviously was troubled in some type of way for him to be out buying up all these guns and and pulling up to an elementary school and taking out innocent children 19 of them to be exact and two school teachers who just went to school as they normally do on a on a regular school day not knowing that someone crazy like this was going to pull up at their school and take their lives this particular day this bothered me this this made me feel a way because like I said, I'm a parent with a child who also goes to school. It's a sad situation, you guys. Um, they said that this 18-year-old barricaded himself in a classroom at this school, Rob Elementary School. And he just began shooting anyone that got in his way and tried to stop him. He was on a mission. He was on a mission. Um, and teachers and staff members had to break out windows at the school to help get other kids and, and people out of the school while this situation was going on and get them to safety so that they, too, would not be shot and hurt. OK, I, I'm pretty sure everybody in that situation was scared. I know if I was in that situation, I would be I would be scared as well. So they had to bust out all these windows at the school to get these kids up out of there. Because this fool is in this is in this is in the uh, classroom, just letting off rounds and just taking out people left and right. That had to be a scary situation, and for the kids that were in that situation that weren't taken out, they're going to be traumatized for the rest of their lives. Actually, watching their classmates go through this horrific ordeal in front of them, they they're going to need some type of mental evaluation, counseling, all this stuff. It's going to affect them probably for the rest of their lives, seeing this type of stuff go on in front of them. I don't know what was going on with this young man this particular day. I don't know why he woke up that particular morning and decided that this is what he wanted to do. But I feel like, and I said this reading, when I read up on this story, I said, you know, if someone sends me a message out of the blue, I don't know you. And, and in that message is a picture of some assault rifles and you're leading up to uh, in, in the message that, that you get ready to do something crazy. I'm probably going to go ahead and call 911 and say, hey, this random person sent me this message and with some assault rifles. And it sounded like they're going to do something crazy. Maybe you guys want to look into it and maybe trace these messages back so that you can see who this is before something happens. Because it sounds like he may be a little crazy. You know? This might not be something you want to ignore. Um, the girl that he was messaging, she pretty much said that she, the only reason that she was messaging him back and engaging in conversation with him was to try to deter him from doing something crazy. Well, it sounded like in the conversation that, that you kind of felt like something maybe getting ready to happen and you didn't, or maybe that he was getting ready to do something that maybe he should not have done or getting ready to do. That's what it sounds like. It says that he did obtain the guns legally. Texas law says that um, you can be 18 to 21 years of age to purchase a weapon. 18 years old. I mean, I don't think you really need a gun at 18 years old. You still you're still developing. You, you're not mature enough to make mature decisions as far as a gun. Uh, as, as far as having a gun, especially an assault rifle like guys. 
it, it, this the story. I'm telling you, this is why I didn't want to cover it because it's make it's starting to making me feel away all over again just listening to the details, you know. Um, of course, law enforcement had to break the door in to the classroom that this young man had barricaded himself into, and they wound up having to take him out because he would not stop shooting guys. So they wound up having to kill the 18-year-old. Um, and, and when they took him out, they went in and they said he had very, very heavy artillery. And they found all these guns on him. He had an assault rifle and he also had a handgun. So he went in there ready to do what he was doing. Um, and it's a shame that it had to end that way. His life was also taken. And it had to be that way because that's what he chose, you know, usually in a situation like that, you know, law enforcement, they, they ask you to put your weapon down. I'm sure he, you know, with him going there, doing what he did that day, he, I'm sure he did not cooperate, which then led to them having to do what they had to do in order to secure the school and make sure that other people that were there were safe and not taken out as well because he he was on a mission to take everyone out it sounds like i don't know what happened to him what made him feel like he needed to do that that day but innocent people lost their lives and it's a sad situation and it sounds like something that just keeps happening and it keeps happening not long ago what a, a few weeks ago there was another mass shooting in buffalo like two weeks ago where 10 people were killed like when does it stop when does it stop? Gun violence is starting to be a lot. It's starting to be a lot. Um, but what can we do about it? There has to be tougher laws as far as guns and being able to purchase guns. You know, that it just does. It has to be tougher laws that, that people can't just be out here able to get a gun. You know, but and then the problem is people don't get it. When you can't get them legally, they're going out getting them illegally. Which then, you know, crimes are still being committed. So it's it's getting to the point now where people are scared to be out and about. And more and more people are going and getting guns for protection and for safety. And you just never know. You never know. You can go out. You can be going out to the store or going to get gas, whatever. And someone who just happens to, to say, hey, I'm just going to commit a crime today. You just happen to be in the wrong place. Or the right place at the wrong time. You know? I say a prayer before I walk out the door every day. Because you never ever know where where an act of violence is going to be. That's all you can do. At, at this, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. You can't prevent it um, from happening. Sometimes you can. In, in a situation like this message, it could maybe it could have been prevented had it been reported. We don't know. We don't know. But my heart goes out to all of those that lost their lives, um, to the families at this at this elementary school, as well as the teachers, the kids, the families of everybody involved. My heart goes out to you guys, condolences to you guys, prayers for you guys, like definitely, definitely. If you know anyone personally who is involved in this situation, well, that's involved with having, you know, lost someone in this situation, give them a hug, give them a call you know, something to help console them in this moment because it's not easy when you lose a child. You know, it's different if your child passes away because they're sick. But if you send your child to school and you get a call that your child has been taken out by a gunman, like that's kind of something that you don't get over. You just, it's just, that's, that's something hard to get over, you know, because that's, that's something you didn't see coming. You didn't see it coming. So at the end of the day, guys, what do you guys think? We, we need to get some tougher laws for for the purchase of, of guns to prevent all the gun violence that's been going on and these mass shootings. Like, what do you guys think? Drop down in the comments. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this story. Um, yeah, it's, it's, this was a hard one. I don't, I, of course, I don't have any commentary because this is not a laughing matter. This is a very serious matter. So drop down in the comments, guys. Let me know what you guys think about this story. How do you feel about it? Um, um, let me know. Let me know. 19 kids killed, two um, teachers taken out by an 18-year-old gunman.
um, who also had to be taken out by authorities. Drop down in the, in the comments and let me know, guys, what you think. Go ahead and hit that notification bell, guys, so that you know anytime that I drop a new video. Um, and also, hey, hit that like button, guys. Go ahead and hit that like button and also subscribe to this channel so that you can be updated on more videos to come. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to the Caramel, Caramel Real Show. I am Caramel Real, of course. Thank you guys and goodbye.